Hello everyone, this video is in continuation to our videos of grade 10th ICSC. In our last video, we completed the structure of chromosome and DNA. In this video, we'll be talking about genetics. I'll be giving you all the important that this video is a sum of whatever we are going to do next. Next, we'll be doing sex linked inheritance, then we'll do monohybrid and dihybrid cross. But this video will give you all the definitions which will come in those further topics. So le let's watch this video carefully and sum up the definitions. So let's see, let's start. Before starting genetics, because we are going to talk about genetics, the first thing which we must know is who was the father of genetics. Gregor Mendel is known as the father of genetics. Story about Gregor Mendel is there in your books. He was a monk. He lived in a monastery. He first um, gave, you know, uh, you know, understood the concept of genes, but he, he did not call them genes. He called them factors. So gene was coined last uh, uh, after the, you know, working of Mendel after he died and all. So Gregor Mendel is known as the father of genetics. There are certain terms which come under this topic, main topic genetics. Let's understand and do or, uh, you know, learn those terms one after the other. The first one is hereditary. What is hereditary? Hereditary is basically when the characteristics are passed on from one progeny to next progeny, one generation to next generation. We call it hereditary. A very common term. You must have heard. Uh, you know, it's a very, very common term wherein the characteristics are passed on from generation to generation. We call that process as hereditary. Then we have variations. Now, I'll, understand, I'll make you understand variation in, in a very simple example. For example, um, there is a mother and a father. They have two kids. The kids, they do not 100% resemble mother or father. They are different from them. They might have certain features which are similar to them. But apparently, if you see, they are all together different new individuals, different new entities. So variations would be that in spite of uh, transference of characters, they are not 100% same they show variations they show differences and how are these differences there because of the mixing up of traits which we will understand when we will understand the different crosses the characters from mother and father they are mixed up to form uh, an individual so there is a mixing up of traits that's why there are variations which are produced next would be what is a character and what is a trait it's one and the same thing character trait so a character or a trait is whatever you can see as in black hair black eyes uh, gray uh, gray eyes um, skin tone is brownish so this, these are the characters or the traits which are visible so we call them characters we can also call them traits then we have chromosomes now, we've already understood the structure of chromosomes. We now know how does it look. But what are chromosomes? The condensed form of chromatin material or the genetic material which is present are called as chromosomes. How many chromosomes are there in humans? There are 46 chromosomes which we also write as 23 pairs because these chromosomes are always present in pairs. Now, on the basis of these pairing, the chromosomes are of two types. Autosomes and sex chromosome now they, we have 46 chromosomes out of these 46 chromosomes 22 pairs are autosomes and last one pair is sex chromosome that means 22 pair of chromosomes which are autosomes they are responsible for body traits head to toe but the last chromosome that is sex chromosome which is different in males and females that is only responsible for appearance of traits of a male or a female in the organism so the sex chromosome is x and x in case of females and it is x and y in case of males so this is the difference between autosomes and sex chromosomes plus there is one more difference all the autosomes they are homologous that means what is homologous chromosome that means they have same shape and structure and size ek jaise dikhte hai bilkul 
दे आर एंटायरली सेम ऑल द कैरेक्टर शेप साइज स्ट्रक्चर एवरीथिंग इज सेम दे आर ऑटोजोम्स वेन वी टॉक अबाउट सेक्स प्रोबोजोम इन फीमेल इट इज एक्स एंड एक्स दे आर सेम बट द स्ट्रक्चर इज डिफरेंट वन एक्स इज स्मॉल एंड द अदर वन इज लार्ज दिस इज द डिफरेंस एंड वेन वी टॉक अबाउट एक्स एंड वाई इट हैज वन विच इज फॉर्म विच इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एक्स एंड द अदर विच इज अ हाफ एक्स इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ हाफ वाई सो दिस इज अ स्ट्रक्चरल डिफरेंस इन बोथ द सेक्स क्रोमोजोम्स इन मेल एज वेल एज इन फीमेल्स सो ऑटोजोम्स आर ऑलवेज होमोलोगस एंड सेक्स क्रोमोजोम्स आर हिटरोजाइगस हिटरो मीन्स डिफरेंट एंड होमो मीन्स सेम सो the a comparative or study of autosomes and uh, sex chromosomes i've told you what is the difference between both what are there then we have next term that is karyotype what is karyotype karyotype is the pictorial representation of all the 46 chromosomes on a piece of paper this is a uh, this is an activity wherein there is a sheet of paper where all the chromosomes are arranged like as a half as a random hota hai and then they are arranged on pairs like for example they are arranged with their pairs like this all the 46 so this is the pictorial representation of how the chromosomes are arranged on how they are paired inside the body so that is known as a karyotype a picture of karyotype is given in your book also please see that also then different types of chromosomes homozygous and heterozygous we know homo are the ones which are same in shape and size hetero are the ones which are different then is gene what is a gene gene is a segment on dna segment of dna if we uncoil the strands of dna like this we have done the structure of dna in the previous video if we uncoil the strand of dna like this a triploid pair a triplet is one gene another triplet is another gene so one single gene will code for one protein so what is gene koi alag sa structure present nahi hota body ke andar it is a segment of dna we call it one gene each segment will have a triplet of nucleotides we did this nucleotides in our previous video please go to that video and understand so each set of there are you know set of nucleotides arranged so three nucleotides form one gene or three pairs of nucleotides form one gene so this is how a gene is um defined then the next would be a genome 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 is the full set of genetic makeup of an individual as in head to toe how the genes are arranged in the body that is the genome of a an individual the whole gene pool of an individual is a genome then we have the terms alleles very important term very confusing as well children are confused a lot so what is an allele i'll give you a short as a hypothetical example if suppose <clears throat> there is a character like for example color of eye so color of eye can be black it can be brown it can be blue it can be gray it can be so on and so forth multiple exp expressions can be there but only one is expressed matlab if i have an eye color i have only one eye color but this gene which is responsible for appearance of eye color can show multiple colors un sab mein sirf ek hi dominant hai which is visible to us so this is the one which is visible is the dominant allele and the ones which are left and are not visible are the recessive alleles so what is allele an expression which is physically not present inside the body but can be shown by a particular gene is known as an allele we call it a hypothetical factor also so jo express ho jayega we call it a dominant allele and the ones which are not expressed we call it recessive alleles so this is an allele and what is a dominant and recessive allele after that we have a genotype and a phenotype genotype is how the genes are arranged in the body as in we have written xx xy so this is a genotype xx is a genotype what is a phenotype how it appears that means it's a female so that's the phenotype that means visible observable characters are known as phenotype and the arrangement of different genes in the body is known as a 
genotype. So what is a genotype and phenotype? We'll better understand when we will talk about the crosses because they will be writing about the genotype and the phenotype. So genotype it's how the genes are arranged and phenotype it how is they how are they visible? The observable traits, the traits which can be seen by us. Then the last definition would be mutation. What is mutation? Mutation is any change which is occurring during the manufacturing in genes whether it is taking place in the genes or it can take place in the chromosome level at the genetic level or the chromosomal level and it shows a drastic effect like for example I'll give you a simple example suppose the gene which was supposed to uh, produce insulin in the body is not made Wo banta hi nahi hai. so that is a mutation Ab kya hoga body mein? insulin banega hi nahi because the gene which was responsible for that it is not there so that's a genetic mutation which has further led to diabetes in an individual. So what is a mutation? Mutation is a condition wherein the uh, there is a, some defect during the manufacturing, during the genetic makeup formation of an individual. It can be at genetic level, it can be at chromosomal level, it can be at environmental level that you will do in your senior grades when we'll talk about the different types of mutation due to different factors. Fine. So this is it. These are the, all the definitions of genetics. In our next video, we'll take up the topic sex determination in individuals. We'll talk about sex determination cross. We'll also be talking about X-linked and Y-linked diseases. So keep watching, liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you.